Hi, in today's video, I'm going to make some crispy pork belly bites. I'm going to do it in the air fryer, and these are perfect for keto and carnivore. Hi, I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com, where I share carnivore and keto recipes and ideas. If you're new here, please hit subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Okay, so I'm going to make two kinds of pork belly bites. I'm going to make some big uh, chunky ones and I'm going to make some thin, uh, thin pork belly bites or snacks, we call them crisps. Um, the only thing that I want to say, this is not usually how I buy these, but I just wanted to show you, you can do it with these. Most of the reason for not buying it this way is the price. Uh, this is $9 a pound for them to slice it for you. If you buy just a chunk like this, all you need is a sharp knife. You can slice your own and it is um, around four to five dollars a pound, probably even less than that if you get those big packages from Costco. So the nice thing about getting it this way in a big slab is that you can slice it thin like this or you can slice it in chunks like this and I like that both ways. Usually what I do is, is I chop up a couple of bags of the big chunks and a couple of bags of the skinny ones and I keep those in the freezer and depending on my mood, I can cook it either way. The air fryer makes it super crispy and super fast. You don't need much in the way of seasoning. I use kosher, a mix of kosher salt and uh, white pepper um, because I'm sensitive to black pepper. You can use black pepper. Or if you have a favorite seasoning that you're okay with then then you can use that as well so the other thing that i know people will ask is skin on or skin off for this recipe the the little bites it doesn't matter you can go with either skin on or skin off um, i find this a good way to use pork belly that has the skin off because sometimes i can't find it with the skin on I don't know why that's more rare. It just seems to be they tend to sell it skinless. Um, so if I'm in the mood for it, I'll get the skinless and this is how I'll do it. In another upcoming video, I will get a skin on and I'll show you how to roast the whole thing in the air fryer where you get that nice crispy crackly skin. But this, this is using skinless. So I'm gonna put that aside. So let's uh, just start with the seasoning. Um, so this is one and a half pounds. Um, that's about what I usually will put into my air fryer is, is that much. And this, uh, I'm gonna just put a teaspoon or maybe two teaspoons of seasoning on. I've, I always keep a pre-mixed salt and pepper seasoning. That's kind of, I like to keep it pretty simple. Mix it up a little bit here and sprinkle that on and actually I'm going to warm this up because um, it is good to warm up your air fryer. Um, I'll just quickly show you the inside before I warm it up though so you can see what I'm talking about here. Okay so um, I actually bought, this is the Ninja uh, Foodie Grill and I actually bought it to grill steaks and it does a perfect job of grilling steaks. It's got um, this this uh, thermometer attached to it that you can put in the steak, uh, cooks two good sized steaks at a time. Um, but I also really like the air fryer feature. It has a nice big square basket. This is actually good for things that are round or like a small roast or something. And so I use it equally as an air fryer and grill. So today I've got the basket in for the air fryer. And um, I just wanted to show you that before I, before I turn it on and it gets all hot. So I'm going to, I'm, I just use the default setting, which is 390 degrees for these. That seems to work okay. And it'll take a minute or so to warm it up. So while it's warming up, I'm going to toss 
these bites with my salt and pepper. I am going to cook these as well so you can see the difference between the thin ones and the chunky ones, but I'm going to put these in first. So I'm using two teaspoons of my seasoning mix here for the uh, one and a half pounds. I think that should be more than enough. Okay, wants us to add the food. So I'm going to do that. And um, I just basically dump it in. And then I take my tongs and kind of spread them out a little bit like that. And then close the lid and it's going to count down. So depend, depending on the size of your chunks, uh, you may not need the full 20 minutes. I rarely go the full 20 minutes. Um, I check it after five and give it a little toss, which so I'll show you in, in a minute what that's like. Okay, so while we're waiting for uh, this to cook, I'm going to prepare these. I like to cut them into little pieces like this. Scissors are by far the easiest way to do it, in my opinion. Um, they cut nicely through the rind on here, and I can usually cut, take two at a time and cut them. These, when they're like this, nice and thin, they are very addictive. Like they're like a crunchy snack. You could make this on movie night. So I wanna put a little bit of seasoning on those as well. I think I'll only need a teaspoon though. I'm just gonna smoosh them around in the salt and pepper. These won't take long to cook at all. Okay, so we're pretty much at the five minute mark. So I'm going to open it and give it a toss. It stops cooking when you open it, which is nice. And I, all I'm doing is just tossing them. You can see they're starting to get um, crispy. Well, not crispy, but you can see they're, uh, they're looking good. Um, you know, probably 10 more minutes and these will be awesome. So we're at about the 10 minute mark. I'm going to give them another toss. Oh, look at this, they're getting brown. Um, these are actually edible now, but I like them just a little more crispy. So I'm going to, I'm gonna go another two or three minutes. But uh, they're getting nice and brown around the edges. Okay, I'm gonna call these done. You can keep going if you want yours even crispier. I like them to be crispy plus juicy. So I'm going to put them on this paper towel to drain. And then I'm gonna throw in the other ones. Okay. those about. Okay, we'll let those go. I mean, they might cook in seven minutes or I might have to just make extend the time to cook a little bit longer. So we'll see when we get there. But those look good. All right, I'm gonna check on these. Oh, look at those. Look a little bit like bacon at this point. Keep that going. All right, okay, so these are looking good, but I think they're going to, I'm going to reset this since we only have a few seconds left on the original time. I'm going to reset this for another few minutes because these ones, I like them to be almost like chips. So, oh, look at those. Okay, so that only took a couple of minutes to go from not done to done. So, and it is just how I like them when they're like this. We're gonna let them drain. 
If you don't like them this crunchy crispy, then take them out sooner. Just let them cool down before you pop one in your mouth, as tempting as that is, but they will be super hot. So here's the two items I cooked. Same cut of meat, it's a pork belly, just different thicknesses, and we have two very different types of results. This one here, these are uh, going to be juicy, chewy, and a little crispy around the edges. Um, and what I like to do with the leftovers of these is I slice them and fry them in the morning with eggs the day after I make them. Here you can see what it looks like inside. Mm. That is really good. It is got a burst of flavor. It is wonderfully juicy yet chewy. Uh, I think my little puppy dog wants a bite. Oh, so good, yes. You like that? It's very yummy. The other one here, these are meant to be crispy. So you can see how, how thin that is. And I'm going to crunch it. Mmm. Perfect. These make a good TV snack. Okay, so these took about 15, no, not even 15 minutes. These were 13 minutes in the air fryer at 390. Um, that's the result. You, they could go longer if you want them uh, crispier. Um, I like them to stay juicy, so I try not to go too long. And these here were uh, probably under, probably about seven minutes in total because they're so thin and you get this nice crispy crunchy basically it's like a bacon chip um, type thing so so two very different things um, but uh, fast and easy this is great on a weeknight um, i hope you give it a try and let me know what you thought of it tag me somewhere on instagram or on youtube facebook uh, all my details are below and um, actually i'm gonna link you up to my blog post where I make these. It's actually one of my most popular blog posts. It's in the top 10 all the time. So it'll show you and you can print out a card if you if you need something like that. Um, but you can see how easy it is when we demonstrated it. Okay, everyone, see you next time. I'm going to go and enjoy these. Oops. Oh, it's not plugged in. <laughs> okay, we need power. So, what you doing after the show? <laughs>